Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. Today, it's Friday, and the, John, and the Joshua Schulte trial re begins after a two day lull for the judicial conference. Now, when last Schulte was on cross, doing his own cross examination, uh, it's of a guy called Leadham, from formerly of MITRE Institute and now of Microsoft. And Leadham has painted a picture of it being very obvious that Joshua Schulte was the leaker to WikiLeaks. Schulte has started a bit slow in the final hour of Tuesday, landing a few punches here and there that the guy is not an expert uh, in cyber tools of the type that he that appeared on WikiLeaks. Now, in the interim, even I guess he was away, Judge Furman has issued an order that the information that was published or leaked to WikiLeaks will itself remain sealed in this trial. It seems a bit strange because, at least under FOIA, there's an exemption for otherwise publicly available. I mean, certainly if it's available, why is it sealed? But even if it's not, so we'll have to see. In other news, across the street behind me, 40 Foldy Square, uh, yesterday there was a hearing at 4.30 in person before Judge Fela, who's taken over from Judge Nathan, the case of Girgiz. He's charged with being an undisclosed representative or spy for Egypt, al-Sisi, here in New York. There's a lot of UN connections. We've been reporting on it. But what, what emerged yesterday is that his federal defender, Mr. Girgiz, intends to challenge the... Uh, FISA warrants. So this is, a, it seems like it's a pretty big case, and I will say that I was the only one in the gallery. Uh, I'm not saying anything. There's a lot going on down here. Um, there was also a Venezuelan um, alleged narco-trafficker uh, named El Gordo, who showed up in the Mad Court. We wrote that story. All of this is to say, this global corruption is presided over by the United Nations, which is more corrupt than any of the individuals I've just mentioned. How do I say that? They're being held to account. Antonio Guterres, a man who concealed his links to a Chinese bribery firm, China Energy Fund Committee, a man who's had his own critics and independent media thrown out of the UN by force and refused letters, even from the Quinn Emanuel law firm, totally immune, covers up rapes on a daily basis. Antonio Guterres remains in charge of the UN. As long as he does, this is an organization that should decamp from New York. And we demand, we demand re-entry to ask these questions to Big Tony, to be continued.